establish contact with the local population? Huh, <laughs> easy enough, right? Damn savages weren't interested in talking. They attacked us with such madness that even the brave had their nerves rattled. Our technology proved useless against the furious savage horde. Their giant arrows pierced our armor like it was paper. Only walkers, our elite warriors, offered any resistance against the onslaught. But arrows found weak spots, penetrating cockpit shells, and pilots died from the planet's poisonous atmosphere. Your brother's walker was immobilized. Arrows pierced the servo drives. He couldn't move, but covered the remnants of our retreating detachment for as long as he could fight. saved many that day, including me. It's been five years since the colony on El Dorado was founded, and constant battles with the savages have cost us countless lives. There aren't that many of us left, but plenty of them. This is their home. They know every path in this jungle. We've built forts and outposts to protect the colony, but human life on El Dorado remains under constant threat. The job of a walker, your job, is to ensure the safety of the colony by any means necessary. Now let's get started on your first mission. Welcome to El Dorado, walker.
Walker, I'm pleased to welcome you. I am General Daniel Garay, the commander of the Defense Force here on El Dorado. My expectations are simple. Obey my orders, and in the absence of orders, take initiative. Easy enough, I hope. I will contact directly with you during critical situations. For now, you may undertake any available missions in our network. Good luck.
Walker, but my team is dead. I know you risked your life for us, but uh, still, you deserve my name at least. I am Alice Chivington. I am a xenobiologist studying life here and trying to contact the natives. Without peace and stable relations with the Thuahi, we won't last long on this planet. They will eventually crush us with superior numbers if we don't reach an understanding with them. I'm afraid that we should completely abandon the colonization of El Dorado in order to not interfere with the development of the local civilization. But I suppose we have no choice thanks to the devastation wrought on Earth during the last war. We all know that living there is no longer possible. We haven't found any other planet suitable for colonization. And I don't think we will. Okay, Walker. I've got work to do. I hope we'll meet again.
Sorry for the harsh words, Walker. I owe you my life, and I will be grateful to you for the rest of my days. But I can never forgive you for the fact that the entire El Dorado ecosystem has been risked for my sake. My father cultivated improved strains of Earth bacteria that are ten times stronger and more aggressive than their predecessors. Using these strains is the only way we know of to achieve a symbiosis with the El Dorado microflora. The biological samples that we lost from the lab are Thuwahi test subjects. They've been infected with the enhanced Earth viruses and bacteria. The infected Thuwahi are not immune to our diseases. They will soon die, but before they do, they will infect others. An epidemic of Earth diseases will completely destroy the Thuwahi civilization. I don't know what to do now, Walker.
Please hear me out, Walker. General Goray has ordered the burning of the Wahi settlements with death rays to try to stop the epidemic. This is madness. It is one thing to protect a colony from bloodthirsty warriors, but something else to wipe out thousands upon thousands of sentient beings. I'm not talking about warriors, but the Wahi women and children. I won't allow this, and neither will the colony soldiers. He can't order them to stop being human. We will stand against the short-sighted cruelty of the general. We will remove him from command and stop the epidemic. My words are not empty. I became the first test volunteer in the experiment of human adaptation to El Dorado microflora. And I'm alive. I can breathe without air filters. Just as people used to breathe on Earth until the last war. This means that we can cure the Wahi and stop the epidemic. We just need more time and your help. Please help us, Walker.
Attention. The colony is in a state of emergency. Dr. Shivington and her followers have incited a revolt amongst the colonial leadership. Presently, half our combat forces refuse to obey lawful orders. Dozens have been killed by the traitors already. This senseless loss of human life was for the sake of dying savages. Dr. Shivington started a war jeopardizing the colony. The mad scientist calls foolishness humanity and hides her wild mood swings behind a guise of morality. Now, for the first time, humanity wages war itself on El Dorado. And at a time we should all be focused on mankind's very survival. My friends, remain loyal to humanity. May God help us. Listen to what he's saying now. War? Well, we go to war then. He's not the only one who knows how to fight.
I believe there is one thing you need to know before we leave this station. Dr. Shivington, Alice, she's the first person adopted to El Dorado by my technology. Volunteer. Yes, everyone admires her courage, but her condition is unstable. I told her that it was too early for us to do such experiment on human being, especially on her, but she won't listen. Now, she is ill. Mortally ill like all infected Tuahi. She's now alive only due to my serum, which I am preparing to save Tuahi from the epidemic. Yes, it sounds confusing. And I will confuse you even more if I go into details. Just believe me that we must complete the research as soon as possible and refine my serum in order to save Alice and the Tuahi civilization from extinction. Well, we need to move forward. You will go first, Walker.
My friends, colleagues, and all those who've trusted me, tonight, we've become part of the Thuwahi tribe. Right now, it's just paint on our spacesuits. But when we all go through an adaptation with the help of Dr. Novikov's serum, we will indeed become part of this planet. Yes, if we want to survive, if we want humankind to survive, we have to stop being human. Human like General Gray. Such humans that destroy all living things for the sake of their own monetary gain. They destroyed their planet. And if we do not stop them, they will destroy this one too. We will stop the extraction of El Dorado's resources with the greedy elite who are ruling a dying Earth. We will start a new life. We will adapt and learn to live in peace and harmony with the people of El Dorado. But first, we have to get rid of General Beret and his henchmen. Alone, we don't have enough power to fight him. But now, we are not alone. All the tribes are united to punish the general for his unjust cruelty. Let's go, my friends. Together, we will go.
Thank <laughs> you. 